I see the comments and requests and I will act on them. Please remember to follow Geography World channel on Instagram and Facebook using the link shown on the screen. Please remember to like, share with your friends and subscribe. For person wishing to contact me privately, you may email me at geographyworld100 at gmail.com. The link will be posted below. Welcome back to Geography World, guys. For this video, we're going to look at Ge Geography Unit 2, Paper 2. And this is the May, June 2021 paper. Now, for this video, we're going to look at question number four. Question number four, it looks at module number three and it asks that we study figure three which is an illustration of an aspect of a development model and answer the questions that follow. Now part A to the question, name the model illustrated in figure three. Now the name of the model is the corporate model. Part two asks that we name the specific effect that is illustrated in the model in figure three. And the specific effect is the spread effect. Now, once you're able to answer each of those, that's one mark. Now, part three to the question asks that we describe how the process shown in figure three may reduce disparities. Now, the spread effect creates beneficial opportunities through the multiplier effect, where the periphery areas benefit from the wealth of the core, such as workers from the core seeking cheaper housing solution in the periphery. The core also provides jobs for residents in the periphery. So once the core is developing, then development has the opportunity to spread towards the periphery, hence reducing disparities. Question B, you are to describe each of the following types of aid, giving one example of each type. Now, the first one is the humanitarian aid. And the humanitarian aid is assistance which is intended to save lives, alleviate suffering, and maintain human dignity after a crisis or a natural disaster, as well as to prevent and strengthen pre preparedness for when such situations should occur. Humanitarian aid is vital in reducing the impact of crisis on community, helping recovery and improving preparedness for future emergencies. So example of a humanitarian aid is in 2010 when Haiti suffered that devastating earthquake. There were countries and organizations that basically offered food and water as well as medical supplies so this would be classified as a humanitarian aid now development aid are also called long-term aid or program aids they pro they are provided to improve long-term standards of living in a country or area they may include programs to improve agricultural productivity or improvement in water supplies and sanitation through the provision of wells and pumps. So the developmental aids, they are long term and they basically are implemented to basically help with the standard of living in a country. Once you're able to tell what those type of aids are, as well as give an example of each, then you should be on your way to getting eight marks, four for each. Now, part C to the question asks that we discuss three ways in which each of the following could limit the ability of small island developing states to develop their economies. Now, we're going to look at environmental vulnerability and we're going to also look at isolation. Now, this is another essay that you need to write. So the first thing you need is an introduction. Now, in your introduction, you can tell us a little bit about what are, for example, what are small island developing states? Give us an overview of some of their location and their economic activities that they actually practice. And then know we can talk, you give us a sentence to say that environmental vulnerability and isolation has the potential to limit the ability of small island developing states 
in developing their economies. Now let's show on the environment arises from the process of economic development on seeds and seeds tend to be much higher than in other countries. Now the reasons are there is an increased demand for residential housing which gives rise to fast depletion of agricultural land for example. In Barbados, agricultural land is being diverted to housing. So they are small in space, but they have to host their population. So a lot of the agricultural land is being used for housing purposes. The coastal areas are intensively used for marine and tourism related activities due to its small size. So tourism is concentrated along the coast due to its small size. Now there is difficulty in disposing of the waste generated on the small islands which leads to improper disposal of garbage. So recycling is not usually practiced, right? Or even if it is practiced, it's not practiced widely, right? Now economic development brings on increased demand for resources, some of which are non-renewable and the natural resource may also be limited. Now, seeds tend to have unique ecosystems that are fragile, thus it hinders economic development because it has to be preserved. Climate change affects seeds due to the fact that, due to the fact that rising sea levels reclaim coastal land, thus reducing the land area. And then seeds are prone to environmental hazards due to their location as this may limit economic development. Now these are just some of the environmental vulnerable factors. Let us look at the isolation. John, let's look at isolation. Now many small islands are located in areas which are remote or isolated. For example, the Seychelles are located about 1,000 kilometers away from the nearest land and are not on major routes between economic giants. This has several implications for trade and economic development in these islands such as, for example, the farther away the islands are from each other and other places, the more difficult and expensive expensive it will be to basically engage in trade some islands they are basically fragmented which makes it very difficult as natural resources are often unevenly distributed now there's also limited transportation as well as high cost of transportation of goods between islands and between and for exporting now challenges, um, there are also challenges in basically accessing the competitive international market due to its isolation and its high price for production. Now these are just a few of the points that you can basically base your essays on and then you know that you're going to conclude and you can basically conclude a statement such as small island developing state economies are hindered due to challenges such as environmental vulnerability and isolation please stay tuned for a video where i will tell you how to basically structure your essays when you go to the exam to get maximum marks thank you for watching we are at the end of this video thank you for watching and please remember to like share subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on in the comment section below comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video until then bye